Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to walk you through setting up collision detection tests in the 3D world. These tests allow you to detect if components collide or hit one another in the 3D world. The collision itself can be physical or based on a tolerance level for how close components can be to one another. As a result, you can simulate different types of collisions in factory settings and assembly lines, as well as modify movements of resources like robots to prevent collisions from occurring. Let's get started by turning on the visibility of collision detection in the 3D world. This allows detected collisions to be highlighted in the 3D world so you can clearly see them and notice where they happen. First, go to the status bar here, and you want to click the toggle collision detection button here. This turns on collision detection in the 3D world. Let's now set up a default collision test for a specific component in the 3D world. Go to the tools menu item here. From the drop down menu, select collision detection. And from the flat menu, choose Select Component for Default Test, right here. This command allows you to select a component and detect if it collides with any object in the 3D world. So I'll select a command, and now I'm prompted to select a component in the layout. So I'll select a white robot. Notice I get feedback here in the Messages panel. Now, collisions can be detected outside of a simulation. In other words, the simulation does not need to be running to detect a collision. Let me give you an example. So I've already accessed the Teach tab here and now I'll go ahead and select the white robots program and now I'll use the translate tool to move the robot toward the pink robot and there you go notice the collision occurs at specific nodes in the component which are highlighted yellow in the 3D world like so now you can also detect collision during a simulation for example I've already created an RSO routine in the pink robot let me select its program to show you and I just have it going to one position P1 so I'll go and show you now. So I'll reset the simulation and I'll run it. And notice collision is detected and highlighted during the simulation. Let's now set up a collision detection test that halts the simulation if a collision occurs with the robots. Go to the tools menu item, select collision detection, and from the flyout menu select this command here, edit collision detectors. This opens an editor for creating and modifying collision detection tests. I'll start by creating a new detector set, so I'll click this icon here. Notice I'm now prompted to name the test, so I will name it Stop Robots. And I'll click OK. I can now select which components to include in the test by dragging and dropping them into node lists A and B. So I'll use Articulate Robot first, this one here. I'll drag it and drop it. Notice I can select which nodes to uh, actually test for in the component and I'll select the other robot and I'll drag it into node list B. So the nodes in list A are compared with node list B so you detect a collision between these nodes. Alright, so I'll now enable this stop on collision property here. So this will stop the simulation if a collision is detected and now the test is set up. So I'll go ahead and close this and I'll run the simulation and it goes in and bam there you go the simulation is now stopped. So notice the simulation stops once a collision is detected between the robots. And let me go and zoom in for you so you can get a better view. And we can now verify that, hey, a collision happened here between the robots. I'm now going to create a new test that uses a tolerance value for how close the robots can be to one another before a collision is detected. This is helpful when testing safety standards and safeguards for how far apart objects can be from one another to work properly. So let's go and create a new test. I'll go to the Tools menu item collision detection and then select edit collision detectors. I'll create a new detector set which is a fancy phrase for test and I'll rename it restricted space and click OK. I'm going to go ahead and reset the simulation right now and for my restricted space test I'll go and add both components like so. I'll now set the tolerance to be anything other than zero, because if it's at zero, then it's basically when the components collide physically. I'll set the tolerance to be 50 millimeters, and I'll go and turn on stop on collision and display minimum distance. So when a collision is detected and the simulation stops, the shortest distance between the components is going to be displayed in the 3D world. Now I do have two tests already for this layout, so I can use both tests or just one when running a simulation. I'm actually going to disable the stop robots test and there are a couple ways you can turn off and turn on tests. So you can see right now I have this active property for my restricted space test. So I can use this drop down menu here 
and deselect the active property to turn off the stop robots test. Another way is to go to the toggle here for collision detection in the status bar. And you probably can't see it, but you have these checkboxes here to turn off a test. And you also have these checkboxes here in the collision detection flyout menu. So I can just turn it off like so. So if I select it again, you can see it's now not active. So let's close this. I'll now run the simulation. Notice the simulation stopped once the robots were within 50 millimeters of one another. You're probably wondering why the display distance is not 50 in the 3D world. One factor that affects collision detection is speed, such as how fast an object is moving combined with the simulation speed setting. For example, the display distance right now is 37 millimeters. So let me give you two examples of how speed can affect your test. So right now I'm working with the pink robot, so I'll access its motion statement. And I'll change the cycle time from 5 seconds to 10 seconds. So the whole motion statement will take a lot longer. So I'll close this out and reset the simulation and run it again at normal speed. Notice the robot moves slower and the display distance is now about 45 millimeters instead of 37. So what I can also do is reset the simulation and make the speed of the simulation faster by using this toggle here. So now if I run the simulation, ho -ho, it actually, uh, the robots collided before I could detect the collision. So if I actually reset and slow this down just a bit, you can see now the display distance is about 28 millimeters. All right, now using a tolerance value is also helpful when you're teaching a robot. Let me give you an example. So I'll reset the simulation, and I'm actually going to work with the white robots program. So I'll turn on translate tool, so you can see I'm using this robot here. And now, let's do something. When I move the robot closer to the pink robot, remember I still have that collision detection test on, or it's active. Notice that a collision is detected and the minimum distance is displayed, like so. I'm now going to show you how to use multiple components when detecting collision. I'm also going to show you how to exclude nodes and test specific parts of components for collision. I'll start by adding a tool to the 3D world and connecting it to the robot. So I'll go to the ECAT tab. Notice I'm using the Webby Catalog 2014 collection. And I'll do a search for tool. And let's go and use this tool here, the works double tool. So I'll drag and drop to the 3D world. And use PMP, plug and play it to the robot. So now when I teach the robot, notice that a collision is not detected when the tool collides with the pink robot. This is because the tool is not included in any collision test I have set up. So let's go and do that now. So I'll access the collision editor, so tools, collision detection, edit collision detectors. I'll create a new test and I'll name it, let's name it tool space and click OK. I can now add the components for the test, so articulate a robot and the other robot. I'm now going to add the tool and notice I'm adding it to the same node list as the robot it's connected to so I don't want to test them against each other because they're physically connected. And let's go and close this. So now if I use the translate tool again to teach the robot, notice a collision is detected. Now if I want to exclude a node from a collision test, go and access the editor. Now let's go and use that tool space test. And let's go and exclude access 3, this node in the pink robot. So now when I close it and teach the robot again, notice that, hey, there's no collision detected. However, if I move the robot to a different part of the pink robot, a collision is detected. Sometimes in a collision detection test, you need to exclude certain parts of a component from the test. Now, this is easy to do by excluding nodes in a component, which is what I did for access 3 in the pink robot. However, if you're working with a component like the tool I have here, notice that all of its geometry is in one node. So if I want to exclude certain parts of the tool, I can just move its geometry into a different node in the component. And I'll show you how to do that now. So I'll go and close the editor, and I'll access the Create tab. Notice I'm working with the tool. I'll right-click in the Component Node tree and select New Link. This will create a new node. And now I can go back to the root node and move geometry that I want to exclude into this node here, link 1. Let's go and use cylinder 3 and cylinder 2. I'll hold down the shift key with the left mouse button and drag and drop that geometry into link 1. Now the reason I'm holding down the shift key is so the geometry does not reposition itself in case the link has an offset assigned to it, which in this case it doesn't, so it doesn't matter. 
All right, everything's good to go. I can now access the collision test by going to the editor. Let's go to tool space. I notice there's that new node I created. So now I can exclude the geometry like so. And let's go and turn axis three back on for the pink robot. So now if I go to the teach tab and translate tool and I move the tool into strike, notice the tool collides with the pink robot, but a collision is not detected. However, if I move it close enough, you can notice that a, there, the other part of the tool's geometry detects a collision. This concludes the video. You should now be able to set up and run your own collision detection tests. Remember that these tests are layout items, so make sure you save them with a the layout for later use. You can set up different tests for all kinds of situations and use them as needed. And one last thing I want to mention is excluding a parent node or a root node in a component does not exclude its child nodes. So for example, I have this articulate robot here. I exclude the parent node, but it does not exclude all the child nodes. So if you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our community at community.visualcomponents.net. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.